Hi everyone! In this video we're going to learn how to analyze the end behavior of a graph of a rational function. We'll also practice using different notations to describe the end behavior. Let's use the graph of this rational function. First, let's observe that because this graph consists of two separate branches, it has four ends. One, two, three, four. So that means that there are four different end behaviors that we can describe. Let's start with this end. As we can see, it continues to the right, it's never going to stop. And on top of that, because this graph has the horizontal asymptote, which is the x-axis, this end of the graph will never cross or touch the x-axis. So what happens to the x values when the graph continues to the right? Well, they keep increasing without bound. It means that the x values approach infinity. But what happens to the y values at the same time? We can see that graph goes down. It means that y values are decreasing. But at the same time, we know it's not going to cross the value y equals zero. Well, that means that as x approaches infinity, y approaches zero. And we can even add from above. And this is one of the ways to write this mathematically. Instead of word approaches, we use an error. Also notice that instead of saying y approaches infinity, I'm writing f of x or function approaches infinity. Well, after all, f of x is the same as y. They both represent values of a function. There is also the limit notation that can be used. We say that limit of f of x as x approaches infinity equals zero. Next, let's talk about this and. Let's see what happens to the x values as the graph continues growing up. Here we have another asymptote. It's a vertical asymptote. This means that this and will never cross or touch it. So then what happens to the x values? As the line moves up, the x values are getting closer and closer to what value? Well, it's going to be x equals 3. In other words, we can say x values approach 3. And not just that, we can be even more specific. We can say that x values approach 3 from the right. Now, what happens to the function values or y values? Well, since the line continues moving up, the y values are going to be increasing without bound. That means that they're approaching an infinity. As x approaches 3 from the right, y approaches positive infinity. And here's the mathematical notation for that. Please note how we indicated that x approaches 3 from the right. We place the plus. And here's the corresponding limit notation. Limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right equals positive infinity. Let's move to this end. It continues to the left without bound. What does this tell us about the x values? The x values are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. In other words, they approach negative infinity. So x approaches negative infinity. What happens to the y values or function values? We can see that the line is slowly moving up, but because of the horizontal asymptote, this line or this end will never cross or touch the x-axis. That means that y is getting closer and closer to zero, but it will not equal zero. As x approaches infinity, y approaches zero. And here's the alternative limit notation. Limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity equals zero. And finally, this end of the graph. It continues down without bound. What can we say about the x values? This line slowly moves to the right, but there is a vertical asymptote on its way, which it cannot cross or touch. So the x values are getting closer and closer to 3. x approaches 3, this time from the left. And since the line continues down without bound, it means that y values approach negative infinity. And these are the two ways to say that mathematically. Notice that the fact that x approaches 3 from the left is denoted by a negative sign positioned to the right of 3. So this is how we describe the end behavior of a graph of a rational function.